Hey everybody, it's Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and I'm super excited about today's video because it's finally time that I get to show you all of the details of this year's big holiday Make It Market kit. Uh, this year's kit is uh, called Post and Parcel, and we kind of went with a postal theme along with the holidays, and I just love how it all came together, and I think you're gonna love it too. And uh, a lot of the items in the kit are gonna be so great for crafting outside of the holidays as well. There's some really great basics that I I think you're going to enjoy using all throughout the year. All right, so let's get right to it. Uh, when First of all, I'll show you and tell you about everything that's included in the main kit. There are going to be a few items that are going to be available um, the night of the kit release um, separately from the main kit. We're going to be doing a trim trimmings kit, excuse me, and also there's going to be a large uh, envelope die and some envelope cuts, and those will be sold outside of the kit, and I'll show you a little bit more about those later in this video. But first of all, we'll just go through the main kit contents. So the main kit consists of stamps. There's a two-sheet stamp set. There are a ton of dies, which I'll, I'll detail a little bit more as we go through. There's also stencils, which I'll show you more of as well and when we go a little bit further in the video. And then pattern papers, and we'll talk about those a little later as well. So stamps, dies, pattern papers, and stencils is uh, what the main kit consists of. So let's get started in talking about the dies that are included in the kit and what what you can do with them. So first of all, there are there is a set of dies which will allow you to create this really adorable uh, kind of a vintage style letter box. Uh, it's super fun for, it holds a gift card. Um, you could put candies, treats, and just about anything in here. Super fun. It's a great size. Not too big, not too small. Lots of fun things you could put in there. So that die set consists of the backer, which is this die the main body of the mailbox or letterbox and the lid and then there is a die for the slot and this can be tie cut from the lid of the letterbox or you could also po possibly do it from the front of the box um, it's a separate die so you have options of how and where you want to use that and there is a little uh, latch this little die cuts this latch here and I will put together a separate video that details the assembly of this box so I'll do that separately so it's super easy for you to find and reference and then there is also this super cute little padlock die this might be my favorite part of the kit it's just so cute and it slips right onto that latch and it kind of helps to hold everything closed and just acts as a little embellishment as well Alright, so the next uh, next set of dies I want to talk about is uh, there is also some flat mailbox dies, which are more of a traditional style mailbox. So there is the main body of the mailbox, which is this, and this is there is a stamp to coordinate with that as well. So this is what it looks like. There is an optional little uh, snow uh, detail that you can add, and that is uh, I'm showing you the pre-printed uh, die cuts here. The, these are the pattern papers that I have just die cut here to show you. But everything that I show you, there there is also stamps. So you can stamp your own too in any colors you want or, or how it just offers lots of versatility. So there is also this little, the snow is optional and I did that so that the mailbox would be really versatile so that you can use it on your holiday projects, but you could also use it for everyday projects. Like here's an example where if I, I don't have the snow on top of the mailbox because I wanted to use it for a birthday card. And you can see here I stamped some of the elements from the kit in just brighter, you know, non-holiday colors. So it's going to be really great for using all throughout the year. Okay, so that is that. There is, of course, a little flag for the mailbox. And uh, the trimmings kit includes some tiny little brads that you can use to attach that little flag and make that actual... Um, movable. This die has a little slit, cuts a little slit right here. And what that lets you do is there is a little insert. Okay, there is a die for that as well. It's uh, this one right here. And that allows you to put some little inserts right in there that'll slip right in that slot. 
Then there are three different little icons that you can top this insert with. Uh, there is a stack of presents, a stack of letters and packages, and then also a greenery uh, cluster with some ornaments and candy canes. And what happens is what you're going to want to do is just attach one of those icons to this insert. Just adhere that just on that right edge of the insert. And then you can go ahead and just slip that right in the slot. So it makes a cute little interactive pullout. Great for uh, gift tags, uh, even cards. There's several different sentiments in the stamp set that will fit onto this insert. Um, there's Some of them also will fit on the mailbox itself. So there's lots of fun options there. Then there is also just a separate little die for the slit itself. So say you want to stamp the mailbox directly onto a flat project, you can go ahead and use this little die to cut just the slit in the mailbox. Okay, so there is also a post for the mailbox so that you can use it on card fronts. Here's a card where I used the mailbox and I added the post to it. And here, of course, I have a little package tucked in there. I didn't use the insert here. I just wanted the packages to be tucked in there. And then the sentiment is down here. Okay, so besides the three icons that you can attach to the insert, there is also this adorable tiny envelope die. And this is, uh, here's one of the pre-printed ones that I have cut here. And you can see how once assembled, here's an assembled one. It's the perfect size to also tuck in that little slit. And you can stamp directly on the inside of the envelope if you'd like. If you want to put a little message in there or a little to and from for to make a gift tag, that's super cute. Or there is also this little postage stamp die, which is great on its own. You can do all sorts of, create little embellishments with it. Um, small tags, but that also then fits inside of this envelope. And here's a pre-printed one that I have die cut. And then you can see it just fits perfectly right inside of there. And this die, envelope die, has a little tiny little uh, latch here, I guess you'd call it, or a slit, that the flap just slides right into to keep that all secure. So that's super cute. And then there is um, a little greenery swag, I guess you would call it, with a bow detail. And this is designed to fit just really nicely up on the top of the mailbox, or you can use it on the post of the mailbox like I did here. You can also think about um, creating an actual 3D mailbox. Here are some cute little favors that I put together. I just added a cardstock strip which was scored and folded and adhered to form kind of a dome shape and I used that as a backer. Holds a couple Hershey Nugget candies and I'm going to put it together a video on this as well and I'll show you how to assemble those. And here I just cut the post for, from some um, balsa wood and so I will uh, put together a video to show you how those, those are assembled as well. Okay, the next die I want to show you is this postage mat, postage frame. Um, it's the perfect size to hold a gift card. Uh, then there is a bow, string bow die that coordinates with this as well. And this, what this does is it actually creates a partial cut. Here's one that I have put together here for you to show you. Here's a, a little gift card. And you can see how the die on the ends of the bow do not have a cutting line. So what that does is when you combine that with this postage uh, frame, postage mat, it just gives you a partial cut. So it gives you this cute little uh, string kind of wrapped effect just out of cardstock. And then there is a stamp to coordinate with that as well. There's a, a bow and a string stamp in the stamp set, which is right here. All right, and so to round out the die collection, there are several little detail or embellishment dies um, as well, and there are stamps to coordinate with all of these. I am sh um, showing you some pre-printed die cuts that I uh, cut with the dies, but there are also stamps, of course, so you can stamp them instead if you're out of pattern paper or want to do your own color scheme or whatever. There is a larger greenery swag and uh, two birds 
a larger and a smaller, and a tiny little envelope icon, which you can actually put into the bird's beak, kind of like that. It's a really kind of a fun little accent. There is a small uh, postage cancellation image in the set, and a die for that as well. And then there are a couple of uh, little accent uh, greenery pieces. There's a small one and then a super tiny one here. They're just really fun little accent pieces. To I, I always think it's the details that make the projects really fun and really stand out. And so these are just kind of the finishing touches for your projects. And then there's a, a separate die for the bow as well. And this is, a, this is the same bow that's used in this uh, greenery swag. But I thought it'd be fun to give you... Like I said, I can nest all sorts of dies in since it's a kit, I can go ahead and fill up all of the uh, the space inside of the open dies, and so I had some room for that, so I thought we'll just give you one of those for that bow on its own as well. All right, so next up, let's talk about the stencils that are included in the main kit. This first sheet features all kinds of different striped borders in different sizes that work perfectly with some of the different elements in the kit. There are these three at the top match up with the 3D letterbox uh, favor die, and this large square one fits on the front, and you have two for the side panels here as well. Makes it super quick and easy to add some striped borders uh, using uh, just a blending sponge and an ink pad. This a larger rectangle down here matches up with the large postal mat die. You can add a border there. Uh, this one here matches up with the mini envelope. And then this smallest one down in the corner matches up with the smallest, uh, the smaller postage stamp die. The next stencil has different words that you can add to the front of the letterbox. There is greetings, mail, and post. Just kind of a fun way to add more of an authentic uh, mailbox feel. This one I did with some texture paste onto the Pure Poppy cardstock. It just adds uh, lots of fun texture and dimension and just really pops on that darker colored cardstock. You can also, of course, use a, just regular ink and a blending sponge too. Okay, this next stencil has uh, some different trees and also a two-step wreath, uh, the greenery and then the berry detail for the wreath. And that uh, fits nicely on the front of the um, letterbox die as well. I wanted to incorporate lots of different ways for you to decorate these mailboxes and just make them really fun. And the trees, my intention there was that you can make use those on cards to uh, make some fun backgrounds to use behind the more traditional mailbox. But there's tons of ways you can use that as well. I used those on uh, the, th the letterbox die here too. I just stenciled a couple of the trees and added the birds. So lots of different ways you can embellish those letterboxes. Super fun! Okay, and the last stencil in the kit features uh, some snow drifts and little houses with, this is the window detail for the little houses, and then just a fun snowfall background. And you can see I used all of those here on this card as well. I used uh, the snow drifts for the base for the bottom part, and then the little houses, and you can see the little windows also, the little window detail, and the trees, and then the snowfall background. And the trees and the snowfall on this card were also done with texture paste. So it's just a fun way to add lots of detail. Last but not least, we have lots of fun pattern papers in the kit. I believe you will receive one sheet of each pattern, and then refills will be available for purchase separately. There are lots of pre-printed elements on the sheets, making for a quick and easy holiday projects. Uh, icons that you can attach to the mailbox inserts, uh, the little swag toppers, uh, the larger greenery swag, postage cancellations, and these are some of the tiny envelopes which are super fun to die cut and fold and assemble those. Several different mailboxes. Some of those have snow and some of them do not, so you can use those for all different types of projects. And there's several different posts and the little flags. And then a whole sheet of the different little inserts that slip inside of the mailbox. There are also some uh, Im die cuttable images that coordinate with this postage mat die. Makes for quick and easy tags. This also, of course, uh, will fit a gift card like I mentioned a little earlier in the video. And then there are just some fun basic patterns included in the kit too that you can do use for packaging 
Um, here is a, there's just some greenery, some uh, real kind of mail, air mail type print. Uh, this one has some fun text and kind of just almost looks like a postcard. Then there are some backgrounds. This is um, matches up with the stencils that are included in the kit, but this is kind of a quick and easy uh, cheater's method, maybe you want to say. You could just add a fun mailbox or even just stamp a sentiment to that and you're good to go. Uh, another kind of a postage, po uh, postcard type of look paper here. This is on a soft stone background. And then just this fun uh, bird print. It just kind of reminds me of a vintage print, which I, which I really love. So now I want to talk about a few of the items that are going to be available for purchase on the night of the kit release, but are not part of the full kit. They will be available separately on their own. Uh, one of them is this large uh, envelope die. And uh, this is size that when assembled, it uh, holds a gift card perfectly. Here is one that I have uh, die cut. This is a pre-printed one. We are also offering some pre-printed papers, which I'll show you a little bit more of those in just a second. So here's one that I have die cut, and you can see how there's a cute little uh, slit that the flap just fits right into, and you can open that up. And it fits uh, this die from the full kit. It holds that perfectly as well. And so then you can just slip a gift card in there or you can use it on its own, of course, too, with just a gift card tucked in there. But there's this option of uh, those two pieces coordinating together. So lots of uh, fun applications for that as well for throughout the year, not just the holidays. And like I said, we are also offering some pre-printed uh, gift card cuts, we're calling them. And the, the, the pack has some basic colors uh, that coordinate with the post and parcel kit. They just feature a striped border on the front and then solid colored flaps. Lots of different colors that uh, go along with the kit. And then there are some pre-printed ones as well included in the set that just make for some super quick and easy ways to present a gift card or whatever else, you'd, a little note, whatever else you'd like to uh, tuck in there. And lastly, I wanted to show you some of the items that are found in the trimmings kit. Now, please keep in mind that I've been busy, busy creating projects for the last week and a half. So I have used up uh, quite a bit of stash of my trimmings kit. So the items I'm showing you are not going to be shown in full quantities. Uh, it might be just partial quantities. So for a full supply list, you'll want to visit Nicole's blog on, um, and she has all the details of that as far as quantities and such. But I'll just show you kind of a sampling of some of the things that are um, included in the trimmings kit the post and parcel uh, trimmings kit. So we've got several fun ribbons, which are great for adding details to tags, uh, packages, and so forth. There's this fun airmail a ribbon, which I just love. I tie that around uh, like a craft package, and it's just super cute. Uh, kind of an aqua velvet ribbon, a gray and white striped grill grain ribbon. There are a couple different twines. This is kind of a aqua or a teal twine. There's also a airmail twine, which I used up every last bit of, so I'll just have to show you it on this cute little tag here, which this tag was actually cut using the backer of the letterbox die, which I was, I forgot to mention as I was showing you the dies, but that die works super fun for tags as well, so it's not just um, a backer for that, but it uh, makes also some fun tags. So there's a couple of twines. There is also a uh, uh, length of artificial pine greenery. There's some flocking, which you can have some really fun, uh, do some fun things with, with the stencils or use it on the top of the mailboxes just to kind of add a little snowy effect. There are some tiny paper clips, which just work perfectly with the whole mail postage theme. Great for attaching some of those little tags and postage stamps and that sort of thing. I'll have lots of projects on my blog that kind of show using those. Here's some tiny brads and these work perfectly for attaching the little flag to the mailbox. Uh, I showed you that a little earlier in the video. There is a fun airmail washi tape. Super great for um, if you like to wrap packages. Uh, just wrap some packages and craft 
paper and add some of this and some of the tags and toppers from the kit. Super uh, cute way to package, uh, to wrap up a, a gift. There are a couple of little cardinal birds, which would be really cute at the base of one of the mailboxes or um, even on the top of this. This is a, an adorable little uh, tin mailbox that is in the trimmings kit as well. And I think they are going to be offering these as a separate purchase as well refills of these and it's just a really cute little tin make a really cute favor fill that with candy so forth just really cute and I decorated it here with some of the airmail twine from the kit and just some of the pre-printed die cuts super fast and easy to put together and then there are also some little clothes pins which are great for clipping things to the mailboxes or the letter boxes and that's Okay, so I think that wraps up this walkthrough of this year's big holiday Make It Market kit called Post and Parcel, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really excited about how all the projects came together. I had so much fun uh, both designing the kit and uh, creating the projects. So um, looking forward to release night. Uh, the kit will be available beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on uh, October 1st from papertrayinc.com. All right, thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Valdman for Paper Tray Inc.